Welcome to another Skype for Business video. In this video, we will be covering how to create a web and video conference using the web scheduler. First, in order to access the web scheduler, you have to go to alstech.ualberta.ca. Scroll until you find the Skype for Business web scheduler, which is on the right hand side of the website. Click on the link. Log in using your Skype for Business account, which is your first dot last name at ales.uolberta.ca. Your password is your ALS account password. If you do not have a Skype for Business account, please contact the IT team to see if you're eligible for one. Our contact information is located on the alestech.uolberta.ca website. Once you've logged in, you will see a prompt to create a new meeting. For the moment, I will create a test link and for your own meetings, you may call it whatever you wish. As you can see, you have a couple of options here. For the start time, we generally recommend 15 minutes ahead of the time the meeting is supposed to start. We do this in order to make sure that the externals are connected and all aspects of the conference are working, such as video, audio, and data. For the end time, we recommend about half an hour past the time it's supposed to end just in case the meeting runs long. For the time zone, we generally recommend using the time zone of the person organizing and hosting the conference. As for the lobby, when you create a new Skype for Business meeting, you decide who gets into the meeting directly and who waits until you let them in. Those who are waiting are waiting in the lobby. The lobby is usually utilized when you are meeting multiple externals, but not at the same time, like an interview. This way you get to decide who comes in and when. If you're meeting multiple externals at the same time, like in a committee meeting, we usually let them bypass the lobby. In the meeting, there will be presenters who will be able to upload and present data such as PowerPoint presentations, programs, desktop, or the whiteboard. There are a couple of options in the drop-down menu. You can choose what's best for your meeting. If you need any more clarification for what setting would be right for you, please feel free to contact the IT team. Once you've customized the meeting the way you want to, please click Save. This pop-up will appear with a link for your video conference. Go ahead and copy that link. You can then paste it into an email to send for the externals who are joining you in this meeting. Please be aware that we strongly recommend testing with your externals at least once before the meeting. This is to make sure that everything will go smoothly on the day of the conference. This is one of the benefits of using Web Scheduler. You can make the link last as long as a month, which will give you plenty of time to test with the externals. You can also send a link with plenty of notice to set externals. One of our tricks, if the external doesn't have a Skype for Business account, is to add question mark S L equals one. This will force the machine to use the web app for Skype for Business. This way the external does not need an account to connect to you. If your external is in an organization that uses Skype for Business, you can send them the normal link and check that it works. If it does not, please contact the IT team and we will verify what needs to occur for the conference to go smoothly. Please remember, Skype and Skype for Business are not the same program so they can create problems for each other. On the day of the conference, make sure you've logged out and quit your Skype program and that your externals do the same. This is true for any other video conferencing program like Adobe Connect, GoToMeeting, and WebEx. Make sure that all those programs have been logged out of and quit the program. If you are holding the meeting in one of the ALS meeting rooms, please be sure to let the IT team and the person you're booking it through know that you will be needing the equipment for video conferencing. If you need dialing capabilities for phone users, once again, let the IT team know. We can create a meeting for you with your preferred settings and that has a phone number and meeting ID attached to it so people can call in. We will provide you with this information in the web link. Please, save the link for the conference. We recommend creating a calendar event and putting the link in the body of the event. 
Then on the day of the conference, click on the link. Choose join with the Skype for Business desktop and allow your browser to open your Skype for Business program. A new window will pop up and you've now joined the meeting you set up with the web scheduler. For any other information, please feel free to check out our other Skype for Business videos located at alestech.yallworthy.ca or contact us. Thank you and have a great day.